Hey Compton Naturals, it's your girl Janae Simone. Welcome to Janae's Journey. Um, if this is your first time, please hit that like and subscribe button right now and hit that bell for notifications. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some crochet braids. So of course, I'm starting with freshly washed hair. I shampooed my hair with Ginky Tress's Avocado Infusion Sulfate Free Shampoo. I deep conditioned with Camilla Conditioning Mask by Earthborn Organics. And I detangled my hair with Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. I also sealed my moisture with the oil I got by Curls by Z. I just forgot to show you guys. So the first step that I do when crocheting my hair is I part ear to ear my hair in half. After I part my hair in half, I'm going to start corn rolling in small to medium sized braids to the back of my head. So now the front is completely braided and we're going to start with the back and we are going to be braiding these in medium to small size braids or we're going to be braiding them up toward the front of our hair. Okay, you guys, so now all braids are done in the front and the back, and yes, we look a little crazy. I don't know why my lighting keeps changing in this area, but it's fine. So now that we have all of our braids done, we're going to braid all of these small braids into bigger braids going toward one side of our face. Okay, so we have all of our braids braided. Now we are going to sew down this section. The hair we're gonna be using today is Equals Urban Soft Dread in the color 530, which is this red burgundy color. I have four packs and that should be enough. And yes, I said dread hair, but no, we are not gonna be crocheting in dreads. We're gonna be splitting each individual dread into about six thin pieces. And it will get tangled. It will be kind of challenging on some parts to separate, but um, it'll be super cute when it all gets together. So go through the struggling to get it separated into six pieces. All right, you guys, so we have this thin piece. We're gonna just smooth it out so the curls are defined. 
Um, the main tool that you will need is a crochet needle. For some reason, they all come in this green and pink color. So um, yeah, just get you one of those. <laughs> Anyways, so make sure that the hook is closed before you try to stuff it through your braid. Otherwise, it's gonna snatch onto your hair and it's gonna really hurt. So you push the crochet needle through your hair, open the hook, and then you connect the piece of hair onto the needle and close the hook. I know it sounds kind of kind of crazy but it'll be easy <laughs> when you try it so you pull it through and then you loop the hair twice and pull it tight so that it is stationary And then you're gonna just continue to do this process all the way throughout your hair. Now this right here is two days later and I am fin finally finishing the front of my hair. Um, I was getting real lazy, but um, yeah, this is two days later and I am just gonna put in my last few pieces of hair before I show you guys the finished look. Okay, you guys, and this is it. It is super cute, fluffy, flirty, curly. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you put them below in the comment section. Um, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.